Hey guys! As some of you know, we're gonna be going to Finland this summer in August, and this band just released an EP. When I mean just, I mean like a month ago, a couple of weeks, whatever, within the same time zone. Uh, they released an EP, and they're gonna be playing at uh, Sarli Helveti. Sarli Helveti. My god, man, fuck, can you make things a little bit easier for us, non Finnish speaking people? Just call it like hell on, on, on the, the yeah. island of hell or whatever, it's, which is the translation. It's just funny because if, like, if you play like GeoGasser, you know what that is. Yeah. Oh, uh, if you play like GeoGuessr and then you like spawn in Finland and you have to find out like where you are. If I turn around and I see just a bunch of dots and a long ass word, I'm like, okay, I know what country I'm in. Now it's gonna see what city I'm in, because that's always a giveaway. The dots. The dots. Yeah, that's where Motorhead was from. <laughs> they had dots. Yeah. I they they went to Finland and they were like yeah let me went to Finland he had an epiphany and then when he went back to England he started Motorhead uh, prove me wrong he drank the water in Finland because we yeah. always say that, that the water in Finland yeah the, it's like but I think you have to drink it from the toilet bowl like a dog <laughs> try it and then let us know what happens don't try it <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for that ah fuck it whatever <clears throat> stranger things have happened it's funny because you know what. You 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 think no one will do it, but uh, no, there's going to be always a dumbass that's going to do it. Trump Fuck. said drink bleach and it'll, it'll help you from COVID, <laughs> and I can tell you a lot of people did it. Fuck, you bringing that guy back? That's fucking like. Or you were making Trump great again? Like what, what the fuck? Why would you say I'm bringing Trump <laughs> back? Yeah. <laughs> wow, I can't believe nobody's done that. Uh, anyhow, uh, Kiwas with uh, through purgatory is the name of the song. You ready? Yeah. Uh. This great day, a heavy sky marks a new beginning. He swears that soon to old beliefs, he surely won't be clinging. The grass was green, the sun was high. Innocence still in his eyes But as the olden doctrine dies From its remains A superior one will rise Drawing from the most powerful source Fighting only the higher laws The disciple walks with a steady step On forever With the true and sacred cause The led astray by the so-called
mountain's crest Under the moonlit tapestry An elusive tower stands Guarding its secret silently Watching over earth and sea Embodying ageless majesty Waiting for the time of the seeker To finally arrive Drawing from the most powerful source Abiding only the higher laws The disciple walks with a steady step On forever With the true and sacred cause Not led astray by the so-called gods The quintessence and him Are bound together Drawing from the most powerful source Abiding only the higher laws The disciple walks With a steady step For forever With a true and sacred cause That led astray by the so-called gods The quintessence and him Thing, like, I thought you were going to say the solar eclipse. By the way, solar eclipse. The solar eclipse was on Earth. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it wasn't really a solar eclipse. It was the planet Earth being completely burned out and destroyed? Yeah. Uh, the solar eclipse is actually happening April eighth. Oh, really? Yeah, April eighth. There's going to be a solar eclipse. It's going to be visible across North America, and Toronto is going to be visible between two to four o'clock. And by being visible, I mean there will be no sun, because that's what a solar eclipse is. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be dark, like like if it's nighttime. And my work, we order special glasses so that we can look at it without hurting our vision. Because you have to have special glasses. Yeah, I know. But I, I, to be honest with you, I don't even trust that shit. I no, I'm going to look at other people looking at the solar yeah, eclipse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get my joy from sleeping through it. Really? I mean, this only happens like, I don't know. Once every four years. No, it's not once every four. Are you kidding me? A full so solar eclipse only happens like every blue moon. See what I did there? Blue moon. No, that's... No, it's a different song. It's Blue Lagoon or whatever. Blue Hotel. Like, let's no, not, no, no. Let's Blue not. Moon is the song that they sing, though, at the... Ooh. Or, I guess, whatever fans show up at the Man City's grounds. Is it? Yeah, it's Blue Moon. Oh. Anyhow, I, I don't know that shit. Uh, so, what do you think about this song from Kiwas? Dude, it's... it's it, it gives that good energy, man. It's it's really good energy. Um, uh, The guitars are just fantastic, though. Yeah, I know. The mixture of the acoustic with the yeah, electric. Yeah, yeah. The, the guitars are fantastic. And I think in that solo there, um, like the, the piece at the end, I think it's the perfect like climax. Or... Yeah, it's the exclamation mark at the yeah. end of the song. Um, I, I think it sets it off pretty well. Uh, yeah, me too. Me too. I, I just, I love this band, man. This band is like... What do you think about the vocals? The vocals, I love the... The, the southern twang? The dad rock, man. I love Fuck, the, this is totally dad rock. I love the dad rock. The whole song is dad rock. The whole song is dad rock. Are yeah. you kidding me? It's like I was listening to like, I don't know, God Smack or Three Doors Down or uh, Three Days Grace or uh, help me out. Is there more? There's a bunch of dad rock bands. A lot of dad rock bands. Saliva? saliva? I don't know if Saliva falls under dad rock, to be uh, honest. It's the with same you. time period. Yeah, but I don't think they're dad rock. What? I don't know. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't categorize them as dead rock. Just the same way that I'm on a fucking boat is not is not uh yacht rock. Just because you're on a boat doesn't make it yacht rock. I'm just true, saying True, true. Just just keeping it real. So But uh yeah, you know what else thought like um Asim has that voice too. Like yeah, but this but is a mixture. Like sometimes the, the vocals on this track. It, it, okay, if I didn't know the band is from Finland, let's mm -hmm. say I, let's say I don't know this band, right? And this song is playing on the radio on my drive home. I think this is an American band. 
True, very true. It, the, 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 the vocals and the sound itself you also, has a very southern twang yeah, and to there's it. No, and there's no it's accent. Almost, it's almost country at there's, some There's some no spot. accent coming over with the English words. There's no like... Um, no, no, no. And, and, and the, way the, the way the pronunciation of some of, the, of, of the, the words and the lyrics of the song actually have that southern touch, yeah, American southern yeah. touch to it. So if, if I don't know the band and I'm listening to this on my car on my I way home, I think it's an American band. Like like one of those crossover, uh, almost like skillet, like kind of Christian rock with with a little bit of um, of country, with a little bit of hard rock, dead rock. I mean, this song has a little bit of all of that in it. You know what I mean? So th that's the vibe that I that I get listening yeah. to this track. Yeah. So the cowboy vocals, hats, like... yeah, yeah, cowboy. You're not full country. No, you only have really the cowboy hats, and you have like the belt buckle. Yeah, you may have those nuts hanging from your from your, from your from pickup your truck, truck yeah. in the back and whatever, but you don't have a horse. No, no, no. Your horse is the Ford F one fifty. Exactly, exactly. You don't have a full on like horse and shit to ride. So anyhow, that's the vibe that I got. I I, I really I really dig this semi acoustic ballad dead rock song. It was fucking good. Yeah, man. And you know, I'm in. I'm, it gets you like. I've been listening to a lot of dead rock recently, so. That's why I'm I'm more into this. Yeah, we had this discussion about Avenged Sevenfold being dead rock. I think they're if if, if they're Dude, not, they're like, close. I feel like if their dead rock's alive as dead rock. Yeah, I don't I don't think Avenged Sevenfold is dead rock, but they definitely moving into that direction. Just just say well, not moving into that. I'm not saying moving in that direction with their music. Just because they're getting older and the people going to their shows are dads. Are dads? <laughs> just just. I saw a lot real. of dads when I when I saw them. Did you see mullets? Because uh, they're making a, few, a comeback. I saw a few. Yeah, Mullins were making a comeback. Yeah. Like we didn't learn our lessons from history. No, but they're done properly now. They're not like. It's not like Yadi Leitmanen's mullet. Like it's not short at the front. It's it's still long in the front, long in the back, but the sides are cut. That's still a mullet. There's no such thing as a good mullet. Ah, I think so. Now we've had this conversation before. I think, I don't know, I think man. there is. I don't know, man. A mullet is. is a mullet. See, there's there's a stigma associated with a mullet. Like I, I don't disagree with. I've seen some people rocking a mullet and they can actually pull it yeah, off. Yeah, man. But there's a stigma associated with with a mullet. What's the stigma? A not good one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like white trash. You know. Yeah, but that's the mullet where it's like it's it's long in the back but because the thing is the mullets now a lot of the guys who get it their hair is curly so it's more of a curly mullet and it doesn't really look bad no that's because they they curl their hair but the ones that look bad and the ones that have the stigma are the like, straight like the chris jericho in the front and like the straight long the joe blonde, dirt it's the joe dirt look <laughs> the blonde hair <laughs> in the dirt. back when, I think of when, mullets, when, I think of joe dirt when they're wearing a trucker hat it looks like they have long hair but when they take it off you see the chris jericho in the front Anyhow, or the guys. Bon Jovi, the same guy, right? So, no, Chris Jericho and Bon Jovi are not the same guy. Like, how the fuck are they the same guy? Remember, we had this conversation. They're not before. even in the same fucking state. When, when, uh, I, I can't, I can't remember why, but when we saw when we saw Bon Jovi live, the way he looked, he looked like the list Chris Jericho, like oh, from that era when he had the really short hair when, when he started when, Fozzie. When, when he like, started, when he started Fozzie. Yeah, like the, he looked the same. And Fozzie at that time kind of probably was a spinoff of Bon Jovi, anyways. Uh, is Fozzie Dead Rock? I think Fozzie falls under... Fozzie's Dead Rock. Yeah, I think Fozzie falls under Dead Rock. So does Bon Jovi, for that matter. The bon Jovi also, yeah. Yeah, I think Bon Jovi falls under Ah, that. but Bon Jovi is... The older stuff, no. I don't think so. I think that's from a different era. I think anything after Keep the Faith is definitely Dead Rock. But you... I don't know if you can really pull, like, uh, you know, We gotta hold on to what we... Got. It, it doesn't... That, that and fucking Kryptonite, those are two different worlds. Yeah, that is true. That so. is true. All right, anyways, um, I, I hope you enjoy this conversation as much as we enjoy having it. And uh, for those of you going to the festival in Tampere this summer, guess what? You're going to see these guys. I don't know if they're going to play this song or not, but you're going to see them perform, which is a great thing. For us, I'm really excited. Yeah. I mean, it's not every day that you get to see this band play, and so I'm looking forward to especially their performance. The American yeah, especially peeps. for the two of us Canadian peeps, so I, I look forward to it. Uh, all right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. See ya.